Wrangling continues at the National Assembly over controversial Justice Minister nominee Cho Gu. Just a day after Cho held an 11 hour long marathon presser of his own, becoming Korea's first minister nominee to ever do so, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party also held a press briefing of its own to rebut the claims made by Cho over his allegations. Our Kim Min Ji with the details. Following an impromptu marathon press conference by Justice Minister nominee Cho Guk, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party took center stage on Tuesday to fire back. During the press conference, conservative lawmakers took turns refuting Cho's remarks regarding the allegations raised against him with data they collected, claiming he was lying. In a nutshell, the nominee's press conference, in an attempt to deceive the people, only raised further allegations, and rather than winning sympathy, he aroused public anger. It was a monologue staged by the nominee referring no facts, witnesses, or opposition parties. This came a day after Joel held a press conference to explain himself, after a scheduled confirmation hearing on Monday and Tuesday was cancelled, due to bipartisan wrangling over a list of witnesses. Fielding questions until the wee hours of Tuesday, Cho denied the allegations against him and his family. He said he did not exert influence to get his daughter preferential academic treatment, such as getting scholarships or being listed as a primary author of a thesis when she was in high school. Cho also addressed suspicions that his family made money by investing in a private equity fund based on information collected while working in a public post, saying that he didn't know the details or the purpose of the fund. Joe's press conference was welcomed by the ruling Democratic Party, which said it was an opportunity for the nominee to speak for himself about the allegations and that he was able to clarify them. However, the opposition bloc have called for a confirmation hearing calling Monday's presser a show to deceive the people. Whether rival parties can reach a last-minute deal to hold a confirmation hearing remains to be seen. But regardless, the president is expected to push ahead with Joe's appointment, which will unlikely bring the parties any closer together. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.